<laughs> well, maybe one day he'll be on TV. I'll accept that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Was to be able to 
um, get the the car to be able to punch but you can't punch back. But no, in order to be able to get it up there, he said there are other issues, you know, that are underneath. I'm sorry. That's a snitch. <laughs> That's a snitch. <laughs> you gotta go on a road trip and then on the road trip you call them out. Snitch, snitch, snitch. Because we were in Belgrade. Oh, okay. Yeah, we were oh, there. I had to go to my job, yeah, because I had the medical key and I can't leave the medical key anywhere because it's the key that has the cart. You open up the cart, it has all the medications. So I had to go back and take the key. I can't leave the key anywhere. I have to give it from hand to hand. Yes. Yeah. I was supposed to work today, but I had to work last night, so I took the day off. You? Dude, your door's open if you didn't know. I think they kind of know because they have a tree hanging out the back. Oh, okay. I wouldn't be surprised that if that windshield breaks, though. Yes. Gotta do what with the what? We gotta do something with the boys before school starts. Um, like what? Well, I mean, there's a car show coming up. There's a car show coming up. No, I have some um zipline tickets. I have zipline. Yes. Zipline where? In um, I think in Kissimmee. Oh sure, shoot! I got a friend. I got a guy that lives up in Kissimmee. I think I have um tickets. For a zip line in Kasimi. My sister in law gave them to me. I have to go. <laughs> I said, I have tickets for zip lining. It's got a tree. Porsche Cayenne with a tree. Yes, I gotta find out about it. Um, if they're still valid or not, I have to call to find out because she gave them to me before she left to Germany. Bro, what the so heck? Yo, the guy almost out. hit me. That truck over there enough. about ran into me. Yep. Bro. Be careful. I have my flash so wrong and I'll everything. I'll find out and then um, we can go from there. This car. Here we go. And into the tree. It wouldn't help if I put the car in reverse. Say that again. Over to the garage. Yeah. Well, that was a bit close. Home. Um, just came back from Douglas. Gonna grab some stuff. Then he head back out. With the he didn't drop that so well, uh, yeah. Mm. Oh man, look at this. I got mud on the exhaust. Mud. Uh, great. And I gotta wash the car. Here's the day we drive, bro. Dad's car. Mine. I mean, these are all just, you know, this is just a rental. That's um, not a, that's, that's just, I mean, they're all ours. We work, for it. we work for these cars, man. We work hard for this. All ours. So, uh, come to find out that a few people have been watching my vlogs, and uh, apparently I'm a celebrity to others. Didn't know that. I mean, I just started vlogging just this week. I mean, I mean last week, and I mean, uh, 
and like you know I mean I'm not I haven't even gone big I mean I don't even have that many subscribers I mean I have at least probably what six now six and I'm already a celebrity Bruh. love it I love the love fan love but uh yeah so I currently got nothing to do for the next few hours and for a few hours I mean probably like two hours at least so I just gonna go ooh, ooh. car spotting maybe hey let's go let's go to the Ferrari dealership let's see what's up over there all right so I'm out here at a um, Ferrari of Palm Beach as you can see there's Everywhere. I mean, you got Ferraris, Maseratis, Jaguars, Porsches, Lamborghinis, Vipers, Mercedes. But uh, what's really intriguing me is this. I don't know what it is. But I think it's personally owned, so I ain't gonna really look at it. But I'm looking at this Lamborghini though. Oh my gosh, because uh, I'm a sucker for Lamborghinis. You know, I can just go to Lamborghini Palm Beach and go check it out, but... This one is 214. And does 21 miles to the gallon. For V10? Not bad. Look at that. Huracan. Look at that. Just that. Smack that bug. <laughs> I didn't touch it, but like, bruh. One thing I hate is the is that this right here. It's just car it's carbon fiber, but and it makes the engine bay look dirty, but that's the way the car is. Oh man.
you got also um, you got everything right there, all your settings, and you have all your settings over here. But if you want to change, you can feel some settings, doors, gas, the rev count. That's a nice car. Also, you got Sport, Strata, Corsa. Right now it's the Strata. Put in Sport, turns off ESC. Opens the valves a little bit more, and then you put it in Corsa. It opens the valves even more. Oh, uh, there you go. Alright. Out here at lunch with my mom. Right. And sisters, but she lives with the for to be mentioned. Finally, I know what this is about. So um yeah. That quick car review of that Lamborghini. Um, it's quite interesting. That was actually the manager that um, you saw in the video that was on the phone. That was the manager, and he was uh, getting me like some quotes. He was getting me some quotes on uh, on how much it would be for like financing. So uh, I'll talk about that later, though. So because I'm getting weird looks right now from this person right here. So, yeah, I mean, all I did was just go in there and just basically walk inside. He's like, can I help you? I'm like, yeah. Can you get me the keys to the Lamborghini? He's like, yeah, sure. He's a really friendly guy. Pretty cool guy. I mean, honestly, and also he was uh, like already pulling strings and everything. He's like, I mean, this is what I can do. This is, oh, he's like, this is what it would be, but for you, this is what I'll give you. I mean, the car is 274, like I said, almost $300,000. And I mean, if you put like what, 50, put at least 50,000 down on that, it'd be at least like what? He said uh, between like 2,000 to 2,300 a month. Usually they'd be up to like maybe five grand or somewhere around there, but yearly a few grand. Because with cars like those, they charge them like by the year, not by the month. Apparently, that's what he told me. But um, yes. So um, yeah, more on the car. I will elaborate on that later. But right now, I'm just gonna eat lunch because I'm hungry. So um, I'm currently in pursuit of a beautiful Jaguar XK RS. Jaguar XKRS. I mean, it may not be a super, super car like the Lamborghini, but it is a very beautiful car, nevertheless. I mean, the XKR, I mean, is a nice car. I mean, the XK itself is a beautiful car, you know, four seater coupe. Also, the XKR, you know, it's, you know, the more souped up version of the car. I'll show you something real quick. Right there, there's a lady walking around with a shopping cart. Look, walking with a shopping cart. If I can get it up there. Oh, fuck. Walking with a shopping cart, bro. Bro. 
dear lord, a shopping cart and her baby. But anyways, um, aside of the fact, um, I mean, Jaguars, they're very nice cars, and the XPRS, ugh, man. I've always loved that little car. I've always seen them, you know, in showrooms at a minute, right? That was the first time. Ooh, ooh, Rolls Royce, great, look at that. I was doing Great talk. Yes. But anyways. Get out of here. Um, Get here. Yeah. I mean, I've only seen those in the in the showroom. That's the first time I've actually seen one not in the showroom. To be honest. And what the? Get out of the way. Jeez. Anybody else want to come and try and hit me? Here's the wraith. Right up there. DJ Khaled, Wraith Talk. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if DJ Khaled made a song called Wraith Talk. No. Or Future. No. Because, uh, yeah. Not at all. Anyways, heading to a pawn shop to go drop some stuff off and pick up some things. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, yeah. Um, um, actually, uh, well, I'm home, and, uh, it's pretty late, um, I really didn't vlog anything when I was here at home, but, um, yeah, it's currently, like, nine-something, but, um, I shaved, or, well, I didn't shave, I just got a razor, or a buzz cutter, just cut up into real close, technically, you call it shaving, I don't give a care what you call it, but, um, New things, actually. Yeah, it's quite dark. But, uh... I got an Xbox One! And we got a new TV. I got no games for it just yet, because I didn't know I was getting it. I mean, usually I prepare, because usually I know I'm when I'm getting something. But, uh, today was just a surprise. And I was like, hey, surprise! You're getting an Xbox One, and I'm like, holy crap. I'm getting an Xbox One. Well, it really wasn't like that. It was like, all right, well, hey, got an Xbox One. What? You got an Xbox One? It's in the car. What? Yeah, go ahead. What? <laughs> yeah, that was basically what happened. Well, so, um, yeah, there you have it. That's today's vlog. I mean, it was pretty cool, the fact that I got to, uh, sit in uh, one of my dream cars <laughs> I mean sitting in one is one thing seeing one is another but owning one that's a totally different story I mean I can go to Lamborghini of Palm Beach and see Lamborghinis all day I went to Lamborghini I went to a Ferrari of Palm Beach and they let me sit in it I mean the guys at Lamborghini of Palm Beach I mean, they don't really let me do that but I never asked hmm. I know some friends that have Lambos and I've never sat in them. <laughs> uh, that's funny because I never ask. I'm always too shy for some reason. And uh, let's see. Yeah, I mean, I didn't. Uh, I mean, I enjoyed that car. I mean, it's comfortable. What the heck is this? It's a comfortable car. Like, my seating position, I didn't even have to adjust it. Like, usually as soon as I get into a car, I, you, like, I don't know if for watches this, but. Usually when I sit in the car, I get that immediate un like uncomfortable feeling, and you know you just have to change the seating position. But with that car, I was I just sat in it. I was fine. Didn't have to. It was already laid back. I was already I was not too far forward, and I wasn't too far back. I mean, in those cars, there's a limited amount of space, but it was already far enough back for me to just sit in the car and be comfortable. 
I mean, the only thing I would have actually changed is actually the uh, position of the steering wheel because I like to be, because I like the steering wheel be to, to be under the dash so I can see clearly over it. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, one day I will have an Huracan. <laughs> Pretty soon, actually. I mean, if I keep up with, if I keep making the money, or with my job, and keep on saving, I will have one pretty soon. Soon meaning within the next five years. If I keep up with my job and everything. I mean, leasing one, I mean financing one, is gonna be a heck of a job to do. But with insurance, it's not gonna be all that. I mean, and plus with the finances, I mean, plus on top with gas, I mean, yeah, but, uh, but again, I mean, I could get one now, but it ain't in my best interest to get one. <laughs> I can get one now, that's funny. I mean, anybody can get a Lamborghini. I mean, I could just walk up to, a fr I could just walk up to somebody and be like, give me your keys to your Lamborghini now. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. But, I forgot what I was going to say. I always I forget a lot of things every time I do this. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that's it for today. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next vlog.